Hi guys, Magix here. Today we are going to uh, learn how to play Polyphia Goose. Great. So let's begin with the first riff, which goes like this. So, uh, this song is uh, in A minor key, so at first it's good to know all the notes from this key on the fretboard and this is going to help you uh, just move around these notes and actually know what you are playing. Um, okay, so we begin with 12th fret on the A string and 13th fret on the B string. So it's like A minor, the root note and the minor third, A, C notes. Uh, I like to have bar here, bar A. So uh, you could, you should do it because uh, at first we are going to play these two notes in the same time. Then we do hammer on to 15th fret on the B string. Right after that we've got 12th fret on the E string and both these upper notes I do with my, uh, oh sorry, <laughs> middle finger. Uh, yeah. Then we've got some hammer on on the G string from 12 to 14. It's like a ghost note here, very quickly. A little bit vibrato here. Then we've got 14th fret on the D string. It's like um, left hand tapping. And right, up, right after that we've got a whip like open E string, high E string. Then we've got um, 10th fret on the A string and 9th fret on the G. Again, this in triplets, so it's... Twelve fret, 14, 12, slide down to 10, and harmonics on the G, 12th fret. Then we've got slide from 7th fret, A string and G string to 8 and 9. So half step here, whole step here. Could be tricky a little bit. Then I use legato to play 10th fret, 9 and G and 7 on the G, sorry. Then 10 and 7 on the D string. Right after that we've got open E string, high E string. Then we've got seven harmonics on the D, twelve on the G, seven on the A. So it's like again this double stop here. Slide down to fifth fret on the G string. B string after that. Slide up to 12th fret and two harmonics in the end, so G string and B string. So we've got then we've got second half. So the beginning is the same. Um, So here we've got some pull-off from 13 to 12 on the B string, 
12, uh, 14th fret and 12th fret on the G string. Then we slide down to 9 and 8, nine and eight on the G and B string. We do it twice, then to 7 and 6 on the G and B again. And then we've got... This lick, okay? So it's like we start with um, E minor 7 shell voicing. So we've got 7, 5 and 7 on the um, A, D, G. And we slide to 8, 7 and 9. So it's like... Uh, of major 7 and we do it very quickly so yeah okay so um, sorry I do a little bit this ghost note uh, right before again this legato stuff and right after that, 10 and 7, we slide down to 2nd fret on the D string. And we do A minor triad here, um, but with left hand tapping, so it's like... Right after that, we got slide to 7th fret. And open E, B and G string. And we have to let it ring out. And we got F note here, so it's uh, first fret on the E string. Again, F note in the triplets, so it's eight, seven, and ten on the D string, seven and nine on the G. Yeah, so it's. Uh, Very quick lick here. So it's like 13, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12. Slide down to 9, and 9 on the B. So it's like string skipping here, a diminished chord. Um, yeah, and that's it. That's the main riff. second half, just the ending is different a little bit, so instead of playing, we've got this diminished run. So we start, we're starting with 6th fret on the D string, 6, 9, 7, 10 um, on the G, so you might know these patterns. Like... Yeah. Uh, so we've got 6, 9, 7, 10, 9 on the B, 7 on the E string, slide up to 12th fret, and 12 on the B. In the end we've got A minor. Okay, the next riff is, uh, I believe, less complicated. So, if you learn the first riff, this is going to be much easier, I guess. Okay, so like this. Uh, so I start with my ring finger, 15th fret, and I play slide up to seven, 17 and go back to 15.
Then I use my uh, index finger from 13 to 12. 14, 12 on the G and 14 on the D string. Then we've got this phrase. So it's 13, 12 on the B with legato, 14, 12 on the G. Slide to 17 uh, from 15 on the B string, 15th fret on the E string, high E string and slide down from 15 to 13 on the B string. So it's slide up again to 17. So it's then we've got these double stops, which are going to appear again and again. So, so it's like 12 frets on the D and G string at the same time. Quick legato to 14th fret on the G string. Then again 12 frets and 14th fret on the D string. And we've got 8th fret on the A string. And 9 on the G. And slide from 7 to 9 to just emphasize this note again. And 7th fret to the F. So it's like. Mm, E note uh, right after that and 11th fret on the A string um, in the second half we've got a little bit different patterns so it's So instead of going down to 12th fret on the G, we play this note on the E string. Slide up to 15th fret on the E string. Sorry. Very similar like in the beginning, in the main riff, but uh, this time we've got double stop here. So it's... So we are going to also play um, 13th fret on the B string. Harmonics in the end, the same. And we've got slide up to 17th fret on the B string. 18th fret, 17 to 15 again. And we've got again this double stop stop. So it goes like this uh, stuff you are familiar with already. The only difference is here. We are going to play this very fast triplet stuff. So instead of just it's like uh, hammer on and pull off. Then again A minor this position. A little bit ghost notes here. And we've got slide up to 17th fret and 15th fret on the E, B and E. It's like almost a minor a minor triad here. Then we've got like G major, so it's 14, 13, and 12 frets. G and B strings. Then we've got nine and uh, eight, seven and six, and five and five. Yeah, something like that after that. So. Uh, Two ghost notes and four times ninth fret E note. Again, this double stop stuff. Again, 
again the same stuff with a little bit difference here so we've got instead of playing like that we've got these triplets here so on the same note based on the same notes 11th fret on the a string and open e string e string Second time we've got stops again. And this time this running down is going to be different, so we got something like that. Slide up to 17th fret, 18. We do triplet here. Right after sliding sliding down to 15th fret, we've got 17 and 14 on the G string and sliding down to 9th fret on the G string Sorry. right after that we are going to play 10th fret on the D string and open B string and the, the ending is the same as the previous previously so next we go back to the main riff uh, which is the same as in the beginning but the only difference actually is just not playing this diminished run in the end so mm, and pause here okay and then we've got like second verse mm, we could call that like that etc <laughs> okay so we are starting with sliding up to 14th fret on the g string and plucking open e string okay then we go back to 12th fret on the g very quickly And sliding down from 14th fret to 12th fret on the D string and 10th fret on the D string 12, 10, 12, E, uh, sorry, A string and D string Then we've got this double stop here, so 12 and 10 to 14 and 12 and go back and then we've got this C major, uh, almost 10 and 9 fret, okay? So it's... Then we've got again 12, 10 and 12. So it's like... Mm. I like to play it here with um, my pinky finger. So it's like... I use third and first finger here, then I use my ring finger, sorry, uh, pinky finger, and then I switch like position and use my uh, index again. So we've got 10th fret, 12th, slide to 14. Twelfth fret on the G, then we've got these notes, so twelfth fret on the D, then pull off to 10 and go back to twelfth fret on the D string, and we've got G note here, so it's 10th fret on the A string. Quick slide up to 14th fret on the G string. Then we've got this phrase 12, 14, and 12. 
on the D and G. Then we've got this. Sorry, <laughs> it's a little bit tricky to explain this. Uh, sometimes I even don't remember how to play this actually. <laughs> Okay, so we've got... This double stop in the end. Um, 14 from 12 to, and 10 to 14 and 12. We've got this phrase, we've played this actually before. So 13, 12 on the B string. 14 and 12 on the G, and 14 and 12 on the D string. And again, so play this note twice. Got this triplet, 9, 10, 9 on the D string, then 10, 10 fret on the A string, and quick octaves here from 9 and 12 to. Sorry. Yeah, it's actually like this. So from 9. Um, I'm going to tell about uh, lowest note. So slide to 12, sorry to 14, and from 12 to uh, 17. So it's like... And we've got this phrase. So again, the same notes, 13, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12. Down, down. Um, 10th fret, then. Slide up to 14th fret on this string. And quick legato from 10 to 12 on the D string. We can skip to the next part, uh, which is one of my favorite Tim Hansen riffs, um, and it goes like this. Okay, so we are going to start with this barre on the 3rd fret and having this ring finger on the 5th fret uh, on the E string. But we are starting with plugging high E string, so it's legato from 3 to 5. And then we play these two strings. Uh, and our, our uh, pinky finger goes like this on the 5th frets high E string, B string and G string finally, so it's two ghost notes. We've got this we've got this slide from fifth fret to seventh fret on the D string and fifth fret on the G string. And then we 
got slide from 7 to 9 on the G string. Then we've got this shell voicing of the G7 chord, so it's 10th fret, 9th fret, and 10th fret again. So it's... I play here this like, these two uh, open strings and then we've got this basic G major actually not basic because uh, we've got only ring finger here without our pinky so it's then we've got C note here on the fifth fret on the G string and then with the bass again so so it's then we've got this pentatonic phrase 7, 5, 7 on the D and G string um, then we've got this F major so first fret and the second on the G so we've got this first fret on the B string bass first fret on the B and then we've got this uh, major 7 interval so we've got this first fret again and high E string then we've got this double stop so 9 and 8 slide down to 6, 7 and 6 pull off to 5 and 5 7 fret on the D string and again this double stop so it's Mm -hmm. So it's uh, we've got this first and second fret on the E string and G string. So very similar again. And in the end, this time we're going to slide up to third fret and plucking again the high E string. Then we are going to use our right hand tap note on the 12th fret on the G string then pull off to 5th fret on the G again and hammer on with left hand to 7th fret okay next um, this time a little bit um, different so we've got slide up to 7th fret with index finger this time and we've got 8th fret here on the B string, this G note then we've got this G major triad, so 10, 9, 7 with a little bit of legato uh, on the 9th fret so like this fingering uh, can be easy but I believe this is the way Tim Hansen plays it so, so we've got then we've got this 3rd fret on the E string and 5th fret on the E string also high E string so it's then we plug open E string with 3rd fret again at the same time and slide from the 3rd to 5th on the B string then we've got this E and C notes and 8th fret on the B string and we've got this 7 to 9 on the G string hammer on and the same stuff as previously so it's in the end we, we just mute the guitar after this tap note here 
and then so it'll pause, okay? And right after that we've got the ending riff. Okay, so this is the last riff. Uh, we are going to start with just open A string. So quick slide from 7 and 6 to a, 9 and 8 on the G and B strings. 5th frets again. 7th fret on the D string. And quick hammer on from 5th to 7th fret on the G string. Slide from 7 to 9 on the D string with this little bit quick slides between 7 and 8 and ending with legato pull off uh, actually to the 5th fret then we've got 8th 7th fret on the A string then we've got this um, C major inversion here so we are starting with 12th fret um, then we are going to hammer on to 14 and 13 on the D and B strings. Then again 12 frets. So then we get something like open A string and just playing these two double stops again. Then I play this. 9 and 7 on the G, but um, before that I play like mutes on the A and D string. 10th fret on D. And it's going down the scale, so 7, 9, 7 and 5 on the D string. Some double stops here. 7 and 5, 3rd and 2nd, 5 and 3, open strings B and E, and A minor in the end. So. And then again, some triplets here, slide to 9th fret on the D. So we've got this 10, 8 and 7 on the A string, 9 and 7 on the D. Again, the same stuff. Some octaves here from 10 to 12. Uh, I'm talking about the, the lower note. Uh, so G, uh, A string and G string. Back and forth. 7th fret on the A string, quick legato on the 9th fret from 7th on the D string, 7 again, and 10 on the A string. So, uh, low E and E again, but on the A string, 7th fret. So it's then we've got this okay so it's um, from the 15th fret up to 17 and go back almost four times because uh, the last time isn't like ended so we are not going back to 15th fret so 14 16 14 12 on the g string two times uh, But I'm changing the fingering, so then again 14th fret two times from 15 to 17. Then we've got this 15, 12 on the G, 15 again on the B and 13. 
I'm forcing in the end on the G string. Then we've got this phrase, uh, pentatonic based. So it's like slide to 17, then 15th fret on the E string, and going back. So right after that, we've got slide from 14 to 16 on the G string with this a little bit slide very quickly uh, between, the, between the half step and just like previously here so it's like then mm, we got this slide uh, up to 15th fret uh, on the E string and 17, 15 slide down to 13 and then like going back through this 13th fret on the E string up to 15 and we ended on the 17th fret on the B string and then there's an ending <coughs> which actually we uh, no, yes, so uh, yeah, it goes like this. That's pretty much it. I know there uh, it's not a perfect tutorial, <laughs> so sorry for every every mistake. Um, yeah, but I believe th this is going to help you just a little bit how to play that. So if you have any questions and want to have like more detailed uh, tutorial, just hit me a message or something. Yeah. So cheers, guy. Have a nice day.